Good morning, it's Darcy Lama, and I'm here today with Jill Mueller, who I'm really excited to introduce you to. Jill is the newest member of my team at Darcy Lama Coaching and Consulting. And we are coming to you today from the campus of UW-Milwaukee, the University of Wisconsin in Milwaukee, where I am teaching a two-day uh, course on how to bring coaching into the workplace and taking a coaching approach in your management style. And we've got an amazing group of people yeah. who are it's a great group. really um, managers, leaders, directors, frontline employees who want to be able to understand how to bring the benefit of coaching into their lives, into their workplaces, and also their personal lives, yeah. which is really what's incredible. I've say, I say many times that when I got certified to be a coach, what didn't surprise me is the fact that I became a better coach. What shocked me is that I became uh, a better mom, a better friend, a better leader. These skills are incredible. And so today, um, I want to introduce you to Jill. We're gonna hear a little bit about uh, Jill's background, who she is, where she's come from, and then also talk about the behind the scenes on coaching. Jill is a, the coaching coordinator for my team. I've got six coaches on the team who have different styles, and Jill is the front line to talk to people who might be interested in exploring coaching. So she's gonna share a little bit about what's the process to get matched with a coach. Um, if you are thinking about working with or hiring a coach, what questions should you ask? What you should you be prepared to look for? And what could you do if you're not quite ready to hire a coach, but you wanna work on your personal development? And so I'm going to throw it over and welcome you, Jill. Thank I'm so you. excited to have you on the team officially. And see if you would just share a little bit about yourself with our viewers and where you've come from, who you are, what you love, those sorts of things. Yeah, yeah. Well, I grew up in Germantown, Wisconsin, um, which is about a half hour northwest of Milwaukee. And when I was a kid, for as long as I could remember, I always wanted to be a teacher. I loved elementary school kids. I was the kid that wanted to play school, even outside of school, right? I just loved <laughs> I love school it. so much. So I went to school at UW-Stevens Point, go Pointers, and went to school to become a teacher. Also in college, I got bit by the political bug. So I volunteered on a political campaign and I really loved it. So about two months before graduation, after spending almost my entire life thinking I was gonna be a teacher, I ended up getting a job on a political campaign. Shocked everyone. Um, but long story short, I loved it. Worked in politics for a few years. Worked in government, and, and there was always a part of my job that still related to education. Mm -hmm. um, I worked on different education initiatives. I worked in college access for a little bit. Um, most recently, I worked for the University of Wisconsin system. So education was always a part of my life just never with the third and fourth graders. Right. Um, so about five years ago, I was feeling like I was working in education, but I was ready to get my more education for me. So I went back to school and got my master's in adult education. And, and was that from here? From, from UW-Milwaukee. UW -Milwaukee. Cool. That's yeah. right, it was an online program, so it, it was a great program. And I was able to develop trainings and educational programs, and I loved it, so that's where I knew I wanted to head next. And it was right about that time that my business was growing and expanding and one of my other team members said, you know, Darcy, if you need help with all these programs that you're designing and all of these PowerPoints and curriculum and workbooks and handouts, uh, we might want to consider looking at Jill. She's going to be graduating soon. And I, oh my God, I thought that is brilliant. And I, I don't know if it was like the day you graduated that we brought you on or. It was pretty close. Cause I remember that lunch, I was talking to your team member and I'm like, gosh, I'm gonna be graduating soon. And I spent so much time in the evening creating these hypothetical and theoretical training programs. And your team member's like, well, do you wanna do this for real? And I'm like, oh my gosh, I could. And so, yes, I think it was about three weeks after I graduated that I started working just freelance, doing occasional projects with you. And it was, it was so much fun. And I remember going to work and then coming home and playing and, and just being amazed that I could get paid to do this fun, amazing work. So it was so much fun. Yes, and I remember feeling like, oh, thank God, I have somebody who loves this as much as I do, who geeks out as much about design and 
should we do an activity here or put in some research here? And so um, having you on the team for years as a freelancer, it's now really awesome to have you full time where we can actually do that and play in the day hours instead of having <laughs> yeah. to wait till evening and weekends and all of that. Yeah. So one of the things we wanted to talk about is your role, and if you if you could just share a little bit about what you're doing now that you're full time at Darcy Loma Coaching and Consulting. Yeah, so I basically have two different positions here. So part of it still deals with the curriculum and doing research and um, developing the educational experiences. So that part of my job is the learning experience designer. Still saying that title just makes my heart <laughs> pitter patter. I never thought I'd actually have that title. So it's it's so much fun. The other part of my job, which I'm just loving every day as it goes on, is I'm the coaching coordinator for, for Darcy Loma Coaching and Consulting. And what that means is anybody who's interested in working with one of the coaches on Darcy's team, I get to have the conversation with and find out what folks are interested in coaching. And, and my, my role is really to be a, a matchmaker of sorts, mm -hmm. to, to match up those clients who are looking for some sort of change or something with one of the fantastic coaches on your team. Yeah, and what are you finding uh, in terms of the types of people that reach out to say, yeah. I might be interested in coaching? Yeah. What's the demographics of them? You know, what I think that's what surprised me the most. Mm -hmm. um, I think just in the last week, we've had a college student, we've had sort of a mid-level manager looking to move up, We've had somebody who is close to retirement and wants to define sort of the next chapter of their life. We've had men, we've had women, we've had people from across the country. It's, it's really amazing to see the, the broad, diverse types of people who are looking for coaching. And I think that goes to the prevalence of coaching right now, that so many people are seeing the benefit of, of having that coach to either be a sounding board or to provide that accountability, to provide that structure. And so so really it's it's across the board. So many different types of people are looking for coaching. And yet so with the with this, you know, different age groups, different yeah. genders, different um, industries, different levels in their career, yeah. what do they all have in common? What 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 brings them to say I might want to work with a coach? Yeah, a, a few different things. There are some people who have a specific goal. They say I am I'm changing jobs, or I want to get to that next job. And they're, they're looking for a coach who can provide that accountability or help, help brainstorm through um, some, of the, some, of the, some of the areas where they're getting stuck, or they're just looking for that structure as they're, as they're working on that goal. Um, the, other, the other type of client that we're seeing is, it's a client who has a good job, who has a good family. Every, everything mm -hmm. on paper is great. Yet there's still something that that feels missing, mm -hmm. or or something that there, there's a longing, or there's something there, and they can't quite put their finger on it. And again, they want to work with a coach so that they can figure out what that is. Yeah, I I, I often describe that as it just sort of feel flat, like there's yeah. got to be more, and they almost feel bad that things are good. Yeah. Why don't I feel good? Yeah. yeah, I hear that I should be happy. Yeah, I, I should be fine, but but something still. Still not there. Yeah, and and I experience I, I I experienced that as well when I was, uh, I'm, and I've worked with multiple coaches. You've had coaches mm -hmm. um, where I have felt that same way. And you know the the last time in a big way that I remember was when I was in politics still yeah. and feeling grateful that I had this great job, but yet kind of flat that. Uh, yeah. And of course, it was because I wanted to be doing this. I didn't yeah. know that at the time. Yeah. And my coach helped me uncover that and helped me have the you know, um, courage. I mean, both the awareness, the wisdom to know that's what I really want, and then the courage to jump and yeah. to do it. Yeah. So if someone is considering coaching, yeah. they're saying, you know, I might want to work with a coach, what types of questions should they ask themselves? Yeah. And then if they are in the process of trying on coaches, what kind of questions might they ask a, a coach? Yeah, so I think it, for, for folks who are considering coaching, a, a few different things to, to ask yourself. One, is there, is there something that you wish would be different? Is there, is there some sort of change? Is, is there, you know, is, whether it's work-life balance or a relationship with a coworker? Um, that, that would be one question to ask yourself, and if, if the answer is yes, then working with a coach would definitely be able to help with that. 
Um, the other question to ask yourself is, is, is there something you're dreaming about? Is there something you're wondering about? And, and that's where I put myself when I was looking for a coach. I'm like, you know, I, I, I find myself thinking about <laughs> Shoot, excuse me. What, what could be, but life is so busy, mm -hmm. right? We don't have the time to really put words to those dreams. So, so that would be another question. Um, the other question is, are you feeling stuck? You know, is, is there a goal, and, and we hear, hear this with clients a lot, that they, they want to start their own business, or they want to change jobs, or they, they want to have a deeper relationship with someone, but they don't quite know how to do it. So those are all questions that you can ask yourself. In terms then of asking your coach, yeah. I think, you know, as you're having that conversation with the coach, letting them know that this is where I am, this is, this is how I'm feeling, you know, what, what might this look like? What might the coaching process look like? And that's the beautiful thing about coaching, I think, is that in coaching, the client is the expert in their life. So um, as I'm looking for coaches, I, I looked for coaches not, not that long ago, and I would tell people you know, that I'm, I'm, look, I'm starting this new job and I want to feel confident. And I had a couple of coaches tell me, well, this is what you should do, and this is, <laughs> this is what you're doing wrong. And part of me was like, well, this doesn't, this doesn't feel right. This doesn't feel good. Um, and, and so asking the coaches, what's your process? What does that look like? How, how can you help me unlock what it is that I'm looking for? I think is really helpful. Yeah, that's great. And part of that also, what that strikes for me is asking, where were you trained? And yeah. are you uh, certified by the International Coach Federation? Because even here yesterday at the training, yeah. you know, we've got this room full of people who at the beginning of the day we asked what kind of experience they've had with coaching. At the end of the day when we were doing the checkout and, and closing out, the overall theme was like, wow, now I know what coaching is. I thought I knew what it was, but I didn't. And so asking where are you trained and where are you certified? Because to be able to say you're credentialed means you understand that you're not jumping in to be the mm -hmm. mentor and the expert yeah. and to give advice. Yeah, I think that's a really good point. Yeah, great. Okay, so um, let's just back up a minute. Someone out there is, is maybe sitting there, maybe you're wondering and saying, gosh, I, 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 would I work with a coach? How would this work? I'm kind of intrigued. Darcy and all of the coaches on our team are uh, trained and certified and um, match uh, a very high level of quality and standard and values and sort of just their personality yeah. was a really part of the process in choosing who was coming on our team. Yeah. So if, some, if you're out there wondering, should I hire a coach and they um, yeah. want to know what to do, what's the process? Yeah, so the first step is to, to let us know that you're interested. So on Darcy's website, there's, there's a contact form, there's a phone number. Let us know that you're interested and then it starts with a phone call. And, and it's, it's easy. Um, I, I like talking to people. Um, and, and I'm not a salesperson, right? Yeah. So it's not, a, it's not a sales call um, at all. And, because I don't think you would have hired me if it, no. if it was. No, <laughs> and it's not our culture. It's yeah, not how no. we design our company. Yeah. So, so again, my, my job is to make sure that whoever calls gets matched with the, the perfect coach for them. And Darcy's team, your team, is filled with such a, a wide variety of coaches. We have men, we have women, we have different types of experience levels, we have um, different specialties, whether it's wellness or business or whatever it might be. Um, we have coaches who work on phone or by Skype, so there's, there's so many different sort of match points that we have. And so then what this phone call we have, it's about 15 minutes, and and the questions that I ask is, what are, why coaching? What are you looking for? Um, if three months from now things could be different, what, what do you want to have different? Mm -hmm. what, what do you want from your coach? Do you want somebody to really push you or do you want somebody to, to just be there and create that space so you can do what you need to do? Like I said, it's about 15 minutes. And then at the end of that phone call, um, we'll connect you with a coach. And then my favorite part, Darcy, is the free exploratory session yeah because it's free um, and also it's a chance to touch test that chemistry with that coach without without any obligation right it's it's just totally connecting with that coach it's a good chance to see if especially if you haven't done coaching before 
sometimes until you're in that coaching seat, you're not really sure what coaching is. Yeah. Um, so that exploratory session is a great way to, to not only meet the coach, but, but see if coaching feels, feels like it's right for you. Yeah, and that's a great point that it is about chemistry. And yesterday somebody was saying, I felt so bad for them, I mean, I've had the experience too, that they had worked with a coach, uh, it happened to be an executive coach but in the past, and she said it wasn't a good fit. And I, I, I wish in the moment I had recognized that and found a coach that was the right fit. And so the yeah. cool thing is if Jill matches you with a coach and you do a free exploratory session and for whatever reason it yeah. doesn't feel like the right fit, you can go back and say, Jill, who, who else do you have? Yeah. And that whole process is kind of fun because in the in in the process of doing that, you are creating new awareness, and there is no pressure. You decide after the end that you're not ready. I've had people who, mm -hmm. uh, as a matter of fact, I just had somebody uh, probably this fall, a couple months ago, reach out to me who I had met at a tempo. Uh, luncheon, I'm a member of, of the Temple organization, I had met her probably 10 years ago and she said, when I'm ready, Darcy, I'm gonna come to you for coaching. And she came to me this fall, she said, I knew and I'm finally ready. So it is partially chemistry and it's also when do you feel ready? Right, right, yeah, because coaching, it's, it's not a passive experience. Right. right. It's 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 a it's a conversation. It's it's a co-active, co co-created um, relationship, and that's the the exploratory session is really helpful to see if if that's something you're ready for. Yeah. And so, what would be the options for those people who are watching and say, I'm intrigued, and at some point I'll want to do that, but right now I'm not ready. But I still want to learn and grow and develop, but I'm not sure that I want to jump into that. Can you talk about some of the things that our company is doing that are options to help people in different ways besides working with a coach? Yeah, so right now, if you if you go to the DarcyLoma.com website, there are tons of videos and there's lots of blog posts that can help you coach yourself, right? That you can look at this material, look at the Thoughtfully Fit material, learn about Pause, Think, Act, and, and take in that information that way. As we go along, hopefully you'll be hearing about new opportunities and other, other products and ways to, to coach yourself or work with a coach in, a, in, in different ways. And yeah, so stay tuned. I'm really excited to see what comes. Yeah, absolutely. And we also have, if you go to the website, you can sign up for our Thoughtfully Fit Tips. We changed in the new year to weekly. So we send out once a week a short article that has something to do with being more thoughtful in your life, more intentional, more mindful, either for yourself or in relationships with others. The whole theme is how to... Uh, lead your life with intention, how to be in relationship with others and connect more and have less conflict and build a strong team. So that's another thing that you can do immediately is sign up, you'll get those weekly um, tips and, and stay tuned because yeah. there is more to come. I'm excited. And I, I think I'll close by saying that Jill was um, a part of that spark years ago when we thought there's got to be something we can do to help people coach themselves and so you know it was years ago that yeah. we were in that process of identifying what are the themes what are the things that people say over and over and over again after hundreds thousands of clients um, I've had over the last 15 20 years there's we found that there are these themes and that's what we built the thoughtfully fit model around yeah. so you can also stay tuned every Thursday I go live talking about something um, that hopefully is of interest and value to you so thank you for being with us Jill thank you so much it's great to meet everyone yeah and if you want to talk with Jill more we'll put a link in the comments below on how you can reach out and schedule a conversation you have more questions that we didn't get to or post your questions in the comments below and we'll be sure to be sure to get to those and uh, at this point we're gonna wrap it up because I'm ready for my morning coffee and we're <laughs> ready to get started for our day thanks so much we'll see you next week for thoughtfully Fit Thursdays